Hello and welcome to Trend Maker or TR3 ND Maker. My name is Alex and today we're going to do a head to head comparison of the Dell S2721 QS and the LG 27UL 504K monitors. And that's coming up right now. Both of these monitors um, are really popular and they are both excellent monitors and you'd be really happy probably with both of them or either one of them. However, I do think that there is a little advantage now um, to the Dell S2721 QS and the reason is it has a higher contrast ratio of 1300 to 1 versus 1000 to 1. Um, it has a 99% RGB, which is the color scale. It also has, a, it's brighter, it has a brightness of 350 candela per square meter versus 300 on the LG. Um, they both have HDR, although Dell just calls it HDR and uh, LG calls it HDR10, but actually they are the same thing. 10-bit uh, is the minimum standard for HDR. So they are actually both the same. However, looking at these two monitors, let me just tell you that both of them are really great when it comes to light leaking on the edges. Um, they're both really great. Um, and most of the time, if you, if you have a little light leak, and almost all monitors do, um, as long as it blends smoothly, just a light blend in, it's not usually an issue. What you don't want is sort of these little fingers where you'll get spikes coming out. Um, and neither one of these do that. These both handle that very well. Now, um, I could have gotten lucky because sometimes with the manufacturing, one monitor may have a problem and another doesn't. But let me just say that both of these monitors are extremely good on that. And at no time when I was watching did I think, oh, I don't like how I'm getting little color light leaking in on the edges and things like that. They're both really well handling that. Um, now, as for... Um, the actual color charts here. Um, now, the camera does not pick this up because as the camera processes uh, the light here, it actually changes it. But with my visual eye here, the colors are much brighter here on the Dell, and there's a more distinction in the colors. Now, they're both handling colors extremely well. So again, you'd be happy with either one, but the Dell definitely with that brightness and that little more contrast, you do see a little more pop in the colors. So that is something to be concerned about. And these are both on the standard settings. Now there are a couple um, options here um, that you can go into the menu system and you can play around with some of the color settings. And uh, that does improve it a little bit. But between the two, let me just show a couple differences here. And you probably won't notice this on the actual camera, um, but let me just tell you with my naked eye where I can see uh, definite issues here. So for example, um, when I'm looking at the, the little grass portion here, I can see much more definition in here than I can over here. This is a little more uh, dulled out. It looks like, the, like it's, it's just a little duller. And then in like examples here, like where there's this dark area here, on the Dell, I can actually see uh, contours of the rock and a little more detail than I can over here. This seems a little much, a little darker and a little less contrast. Um, and it doesn't really look like it again in the image here, and I have compared it. Um, the colors here are just a little more vibrant and brighter on the Dell. So I'd like to talk a little about the stands here. Okay, so first of all, the LG stand is okay, and it's nothing to write home about. Um, it does have quite a bit of movement. If you have a, a, a desk that sort of moves around or there's a lot of vibration in the room, you have kids running around on a hardwood floor, and it sort of shakes your desk a little bit, This you will see this movement on this monitor. It's just, it just doesn't mount extremely well. Now, the Dell actually has a very nice stand. It has the ability to raise and lower. It's just sort of tension-based. You can actually rotate the screen 90 degrees. Um, overall, I think the stand here is excellent. Now, um, there is the LG 27UL550, which does have the improved stand uh, that hooks to the Visa mount. It does have the ability to raise and lower. It has the ability to rotate. Um, there is a little premium on the price when you do that. It does cost, I think, another $20, $30, $40 um, to get that stand. But if, if you do like the LG or prefer the LG brand, that may be the way to go if you're going to set on your desk. Now, I actually use a monitor system with an articulating arm, so that's really not a factor for me. But I can tell you that the LG, by the way it mounts, does have a little nub at the bottom that is visible. Um, it's not really a big deal, but aesthetically it may be a thing to do that sort of sticks out. It doesn't have a cover plate or anything like that. That's sort of where it mounts. Whereas this one does not as it mounts right where the, the Visa hooks in. Okay, so let's also talk about something else here. O overall appearance. Now, um, as in my initial review of the LG, and I'm going to throw that up right here, um, you probably heard me talking a little bit about this fit and finish that I didn't think that this trim looked really nice. And I'm going to continue with that opinion. I think it does have a little bit of a cheap quality to it. It sort of reminds me of a monitor um, from maybe 10 or 15 years ago. It's just not as clean looking. It's not that it's bad. It's just not great. 
in comparison, the Dell has this nice thin bezel. It really just this black trim along the edge. You can see that the bottom little section here is just nice. You've got the Dell logo that sort of pops, nice flat finish. Uh, looking at this is just a little more pleasing to the eye, um, in my opinion. Um, also, the backs, they're both pretty comparable. This sort of has a white, the LG sort of has the white background, which actually looks nice, especially if you're an Apple user. Um, this one sort of has an off-white to gray side uh, color, and it actually looks nice, as, uh, relatively nice as well. I do think that they could have both um, just spent a little bit of a couple dollars and put like a silver or something like that if that would look a little cleaner. If you haven't had a chance to check out the full review on the Dell here, I'm going to post that up right here. Go ahead and check that out. Uh, it's a pretty short video and it kind of goes into a lot of details about the monitor. Um, I do think it is a great monitor. I think they're actually both really good. And I think uh, before this one came out, I was super happy with the LG. But I have to say, after using both of them, um, the one that's going to go back on my primary computer is this Dell. Um, I think the colors are just a little more vivid. I think they're contrasty. I think it's a little brighter. It's just a little more appealing to look at. I think overall, Dell has done a fantastic job um, in this sort of $300 and $350 price point with a 27-inch 4K UHD monitor. I think they've just raised the bar, and this, as of today, is the monitor to be. Um, I hope you have enjoyed this sort of head-to-head -head comparison. I've had a lot of people asking sort of between the two what I thought, and I wanted to just punch out this video really quick. Um, that's it. I think they're both great monitors. I do give the edge to the Dell. Uh, I think it really, they've raised the bar right now. I think it's an excellent monitor at a great price point. That's it. Do me a favor. If you've liked this video or liked any of my others, like and subscribe down below. It gets me super excited. It gets me really motivated to punch out another video for you. But until the next one, I'm out.